we, yeah. we, we, did, we did a Masters and Johnson type thing. We had a sexmobile, uh, which was sort of a low budget, you know, Masters and Johnson on wheels, but I guess you want to go to that because I was going to yeah. mention it. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Uh, okay. Uh, did it say massage parlor on top? No, no, nothing like that. We gave sex tests. We went up to Boston and we asked people questions and finally compiled what is truly the definitive uh, response to uh, the fact that people don't know what sex is all about. Why do you think The Joy of Sex by Dr. Alex Comfort is such a bestseller constantly? You know, people do want to find out just what the score is, and they don't know. And I was amazed, appalled, as a matter of fact, to find out uh, simple questions that we asked. For example, uh, can a person suffocate from fellatio? Uh, is it possible to be electrocuted if you have a nocturnal emission under an electric blanket? You know, you think about the... Uh, somebody's laughing out there, but this is a very serious problem. There were 14 electrocutions in... Uh, in Austin, Texas, last summer, just from people who didn't know that the wet blanket, you know, or a wet dream under an electric blanket. And uh, uh, also, uh, we studied the, the sex life of dwarves. I had a dwarf come in one day, a multimillionaire, and he said, I want to find out what's happening with all the other dwarves around the country. You don't see any dwarves anymore. And Look, I, can, can we go to the phone? Oh, sure, okay. <laughs> Folks, uh, tonight, I don't know what to tell you. This is Alan Abel and his associate Lee, who's going to be frozen. And when is this going to happen? Uh, Wednesday night, uh, February 8th, uh, at the new school, I start teaching this course. But when uh, is she going to be frozen? That, that night we're bringing a tank down, and she will be frozen uh, in the classroom. And okay. all those who are there will see it. Hello. Oh, well, yes. Hello. What's your Hi. first name? Gerald. Gerald, good evening. Welcome to our show. Yes, thank you. You know, I'm very familiar with um, Mr. Abel's work. And. Um, I have been uh, involved in aesthetics my entire life. I constantly surround myself with beauty. There's beauty everywhere I go. And uh, Mr. Allen, I must admit to, you seem to be uh, scoffing a bit too much at Mr. Abel. Mr. Abel is an esteemed character, and you seem to be scoffing at him. And before I get to my main question, you know, I, I, I wish that you talk of people such as Carson and yourself would treat people with the dignity that they deserve. Oh, no, I do. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not treating uh, this gentleman in a derogatory sense. I just feel that as a human being, I have a right to think that he's nuts. 